Nice hat. Oh, fancy. Yeah, I like top hats. Top hats are cool. <laughs> so, 1950s England. Why, Doctor? Well, it's a rich theatre and cinema. It's uh, mysteriously closed 20 years ago uh, due to ghostly activity. Uh, yeah, uh, that would take a look, really. Mm. Oh, this is even fancier. Don't touch anything. It seems to be deactivated. Like, there's just nothing living left. It seems to be just a shell. What is it? Well, it's a Cyberman helmet. Well, at least it used to be. cinema, but everything's different. It's less dusty. And the Cyberman helmet's here too. So, what do I do? Do, do I press a button or something? Yeah. Listen, just send me a message or something, but please, get me out of here. Cora, it, it's me. I'm sending this message back in time. It's using a lot of energy and it's getting really hot in here. What well, sent you back in time needs life forces to feed off it. However, the cinema is deserted now and it's trapped here on its own. It's found a way to feed by using the emotions of the audience imprinted on the film. To kill the angel, we need to starve it, get rid of its food supply, we need to destroy the film. Sit, Corey, keep going. <laughs> Hang on, Coral. I'm going to bring you back. Go to the screen in the theatre. I'm going to use the power from the TARDIS to, to, to create a time portal. Aha! It worked! <laughs> yes. Doctor! Cora, I can't... Don't move! There's only one way out of this. Just step back. Just don't take your eyes off the angel. Just step back. Ah! Are you coming there, Doc? 